Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a simple bash script and execute that. Okay, so firstly, you have go to the folder where you want to create the shell script. I will go to my desktop, then I can create my shell script file there. So I can use the command touch to make my file. I will use the file name as my underscore script dot sh okay now we need to edit this one to edit this we can use the command vim before that let me go ahead and show you my desktop in my desktop i got this my underscore script dot sh file okay now in the terminal i can say vim command and the file name my script dot sh okay now we can press enter Currently, our file is open using the Vim editor, but we cannot edit because we have to press the I letter in keyboard to go to the insert mode. That means we are currently in the command mode. Press I in the keyboard. Okay, you will see this insert option. First thing we have to do just type hash exclamation symbol forward slash bin forward slash bash so what is this this line is called shebang and tells the system to use the bash shell to execute the script okay after that directive we can go ahead and provide the command for example echo i can enter double quotes and say hello world okay now we are going to save this file. To save this, firstly press the escape button in the keyboard or the exit button. Then type uh, colon wq exclamation symbol. Okay. I will include this shebang directive and this one to allow you to copy those. Now press enter. It will be saved and exit in the Vim editor. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and run this, but you will see an error. Let me go ahead and sh show you that. When I say dot forward slash, that means the current directory and say my script dot sh here permission denied. That is the error. That because if I show you the permissions using ls and hyphen l. This hyphen L is used after LS to see more details including permissions available for a particular file and folder in the current directory. Here we got our myscript.sh there. This is the uh, permission currently. It has RW, read and write and there are no uh, executable permission that uh, represented by letter x so in this section uh, for the user it should have letter x after the w so we are going to provide that permission now to provide the permission we can use the command chmod plus x that means adding a new uh, permission called x executable permission then the file name uh, my underscore script dot sh okay now if we check our directory again here uh, for this my script dot sh we got this x that means we have executable permission for the user okay so now we are going to run our bash shell script we can say dot for slash then my underscore script dot sh here we got hello world printed in the terminal otherwise to run that we can follow this way using bash command and the file name my script dot sh we got the same output okay i hope this video helps if this video helps please subscribe thank you